Hey y'all, how we doing? We having a good day? Today for me was day two. Day two of my second round of 80 day obsession or what I would like to call day two. Who said it didn't hurt? You all probably can't read that. Looks backwards. I always forget that. Anyway, let me explain why I'm saying who said it didn't hurt, okay? It's because when I was growing up, my sister was quite the stubborn gal. She was just a stubborn little lady. And so um, my mother would give her a spanking because, yeah, we we were spanked as children. Mama Mary, yeah, she, mm -hmm. she, she'd spank us. There was no wait till your dad comes home because Mama Mary took care of business on her own, okay? Okay. Well, my sister, being the sassy little gal that she is, she would like to say, well, she would like to get up from her spanking and be like, well, that didn't hurt. Well, you know what happened then? Well, Mama Mary... Uh, she went back in on that. So, what I'm trying to say is, I feel like that someone must have looked at Autumn Calabrese and said, well, day one didn't hurt for her to go in at us the way she did on day two. I'm just being real, y'all. Being real. Y'all, all of the aches and pains are currently circling around my masterpiece. You know what I'm talking about. Or like what my husband likes to call it, his blessed assurance. Y'all, you remember like in Tommy Boy where he goes, it doesn't really hurt here or here, but right here. I feel like that I'm doing that like at my waist, it doesn't really hurt here. Or like down on my, on my leg or here, but right here. That glued me. Yeah. Yeah, it hurts right there. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. And uh, guess what? I'm still sore from day one. Yeah. So just because you're in the second round of this thing does not mean that you are phoning it in. If anything, I think it's even more tough because you feel like that now that you're seeing the loops and sliders and the weights that the cast is using, now that you've been through your first phase of your first round of it, you feel like that you've got to lift heavier. It's like you're in competition with them. So like when Autumn says that she's going to lift like a 12, then you want to lift like a 15. Like it is not a good contest for me to be in competition with the fitness experts. Just saying. I'm a little nervous about that. A little nervous about my ability to do that. But I'd be like, well, Autumn's going to lift 15, so I'll, then I'll just lift 20. This seems like it could be a dangerous contest. However, it also could mean that I get biceps, which I'm cool with, okay? Somebody was asking me the other day, how's the Flabadoo doing? Um, Flabadoo is getting much, much better, y'all. I don't know if y'all can see, but it really is. It's getting better. It's getting, Everything's tightening up. I'm really excited about it. And if I really, really work hard and concentrate, because it does require some pretty serious concentration, um, I can get kind of like a line, like in the middle of my bicep, you know what I'm saying? Like where like the bicep and the bottom of your arm, I don't, I don't know the technical term, like the middle of the arm, I don't know, I don't know, we can call it the fling doodle for the flabadoo, you know, the fling doodle fulcrum, maybe, but it's much, much better, and you all know that that was a point in which I was really paying attention, um, and something happened in the first phase of 80 Day Obsession that I totally wasn't, um, the first round of 80 Day Obsession that I wasn't looking for, but I found my belly button. That's a big deal. It's a big deal. Um, yeah, it was lost, which means that, like, when I took my before pictures, you could not see my belly button because, literally, it was like my belly hung over. But now my belly's tightening up and it's moving up, and I'm feeling pretty good about that. Um, but, and maybe it's because I feel like I need to be in competition with Autumn. But whoever ticked her off, I'm going to need y'all to, like, understand that she's preparing for a battle. Because y'all heard her. She's like, it's like you got sucker punched in the, in the gut. Or, like, you got karate chopped. Or you got karate kicked at the waist. Like, she's preparing y'all for battle. Like, we are apparently Autumn Calabrese's army. That's what's happening. So, apparently, whoever ticked her off, she is preparing us for battle. And, like, she's going to yell out pineapples. And then we're all going to know that that's the secret attack word for her enemies. It's happening. It's happening. I just made it really sound like that we're all robots. Or that we're all being brainwashed. 
Hmm. Maybe. Who knows? <laughs> So, no, we're not being brainwashed, but we are really all in and on this program. And why is this program awesome, okay? So, why is this program so awesome that I'm willing to go back and do a second round of 80 days almost immediately after I finish the first? Because this program is different than any other program. If you're on the fence about it, talk to me about it. Because literally, there is no program where you're going to have 80 different workouts and that you're going to be able to see your body transform i've been able to see my strength increase it's ridiculous it's crazy it's crazy so if that means that i'm part of the autumn army i'm down just saying totally a minute she yells pineapples or she says hey manda i need you i'm down i'm coming girl i got you i got your back i'm right or die autumn calabrese love you girl Still would love to get a hug from you someday. I hope I can make that dream a reality. I do. All right, y'all. If you haven't got it done yet, get it done. If you've already gotten it done, I'm proud of you. It's a good job. I know it ain't easy, but we're going to get it done, and we're going to get it done every day this week because we are obsessed and whoever told autumn that it didn't hurt to where she had to felt like she had to come back in on us i'm gonna need you to get yourself in together because you got to realize that i'm ride or die autumn and i will come get you quit taking her off all right <laughs>